Hello everybody, welcome to the next A-Level Jog Pod. So this Jog Pod is focusing down on the exam paper one. So I'm going to go through the, the different component parts to exam paper one, which is physical geography based. So let's start with an overview of exam paper one. So in total, it is worth 105 marks. This paper itself is worth 30% of your total A-level grade. And the length of this exam is two hours and 15 minutes. So it's a pretty long exam. The paper one exam paper is broken up into three different sections. Now, section A is worth 16 marks. And there is only one area of study that is examined in section A. And you can see that there, tectonic processes and hazards. So that is your question one, which will appear in section A worth 16 marks. Moving on to section B, this is worth many more marks, 40 marks in total. Now here you get a choice. And you can see there the choice is either glaciated landscapes and change, which is question two, or coastal landscapes and change, which is question three. Now, because of the way we teach the course, the only one of those parts that you can answer is coastal landscapes and change. That is the part of section B that we study in lessons. Do not waste time looking or even reading glaciated landscapes. Section C is worth more marks. It's worth 49 marks in total. And the reason being is there's two units that are put together into one section here, one question. And they are the parts that we call water cycle and water insecurity, and also the carbon cycle and energy security. So that is question four in section C of the exam paper. So now if we break down each of those sections, um, let's have a look at section A first, which is we know we now know is going to focus on tectonic processes and hazards. So what I'm going to go through here with you is each of the sections of paper one and the types of questions that we know will definitely appear and those that could appear in each of the sections. So for example, here in section A, tectonic processes, there could be, it's not guaranteed, but there could be a geographical skills question, which could well be worth around four marks. And the geographical skills question, if it appears in the tectonic processes question, will test either bo or both the qualitative and quantitative skills. Sometimes it will be a question that tests you and examines you on both of those. Now, what we know for sure is that there will be some short open response questions. So you will definitely get a short paragraph to answer either a three mark stimulus based question. So that's where they'll put a map, a table of data, a diagram, um, something that you have to use to answer that three mark question. Or it could be a short paragraph question worth four marks. And again, what we know there will be in section A tectonic processes is there will be an extended open response question. Now, as you can see there, this is where you're required to develop an extended argument. This is your essay, in other words. Now, we know, as point A says, there will be one 12 mark essay question in tectonic hazards section a that is asking you to assess that is your command word and we know for both exam papers every 12 mark question will have the command word assess please have a look at one of the other job pods to go through with me how to answer and structure and assess 12 mark question so section b as we now know is coastal landscapes and change. You, as I said at the beginning, do not even look or read at the glaciated landscapes and change section. You go straight into the coasts. So what could there be? Again, 
there could be a geographical skills question. And exactly the same as in the tectonic hazards, it could be a four mark question that's testing qualitative or quantitative skills or both, um, and sometimes on two different parts. There will be, once again, a short open response question worth three marks or four marks. It could be based on a stimulus, um, a table of data, a graph, a diagram, a map. Um, so it could be one of those, but there will be a short open response question. There will be three, what we call the example called extended open response questions. Now, this is again, where you'll be expected to develop your answers and extend your written arguments with full explanations and so on. So there will be one six mark question with the command word explain. They class it as a mini essay here as a six marker. So one six mark essay with the command word explain. There will be one eight mark question again with the command word explain and then there will be a 20 mark essay question with the command word evaluate now look at other job pods because i'll be doing a job pod focused on six mark questions and also eight mark questions please also take a look at the job pods that focus on the 20 mark essays that ask you to evaluate and finally Section C. Now, as I've said at the start, this is where they combine two units together into one section in the exam paper. The water cycle, water insecurity, and also the carbon cycle and energy security. So, again, there could be a geographical skills question. Exactly the same as the other two sections. Could be, not guaranteed, but if it is, it will be testing both or either of qualitative and quantitative skills. This is the bit we know for sure again, there will be a short open response question in section C, again, three or four marks. And again, there will be extended open response questions. So there will be one six mark essay, explain, there will be one eight mark essay, again, explain. And here was where it's slightly different. You will have one 12 mark essay with the command word assess and one 20 mark essay with the command word evaluate. Again, please refer back to the other job pods where I'll be exploring the six, eight, 12 and 20 mark style questions. So thank you very much, folks. Um, please revisit this numerous times before you then crack on with your revision. Thank you very much.